one more good one for you, Doc. Um, hi, I've been watching your videos on YouTube and find them very interesting. Uh, listening to them, I believe you could help me. I'm 43 years old and I've been struggling with overuse injuries for the last three years. Flexor tendons in the hands with a nodule in one of them. Also tendon pains in my foot, sole and neck pain as a result of a whiplash. The muscle in my neck gets really hard and along the spine, uh, they, uh, and along the spine they get so strained it hurts a lot. I've tried every supplement I could find but nothing really helps. Uh, also lots of rest and decent food consumption. Uh, would it be beneficial if I tried some anabolic steroids or HGH? Any advice would be really great and I would be very uh, grateful. I live in Belgium, so coming to see you at your practice would be difficult. <laughs> Sincerely, Mike. Hey, but well, the weather's great here. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Especially in February. I think it beats Belgium. But uh, And there's Skype now, so there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one's going to have to be, unfortunately, a very generalized answer because, I mean, there are so many reasons why. I mean, I first think of, again, for personal reasons, flexor tendon problems uh, as opposed to extensor. I mean, is there damage to the spinal cord? Uh, is there damage to the, the, the spinal uh, roots? You know, um, he mentioned a nodule, so I think, I mean, is there spasticity involved? Are we talking a nodule on the muscle or the tendons? I mean, is it something as simple as um, a ganglion cyst, or could it be from, again, you know, uh, with spinal cord injury, you could have uh, enough hypertonicity that eventually causes, you know, sort of what we call, might call a knot, you know? Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, way too general to say, oh, sure, anabolics will help that, or, uh, but in general, obviously, anabolics help build muscle, uh, repair muscle. Um, growth hormone tends to repair tendons better than muscle, or even ligaments, arguably. arguably. Uh, so in that sense, yeah, I mean, that, that's an easy, very general answer. Other than that, unfortunately, I can't provide a whole lot of help here. Inflammation in general, uh, again, wide open topic of discussion in general, you know, Fewer sugars and sweets. A lot of people just, you know, because of excess sugar uh, can create inflammation. You can use things, you know, he mentioned being uh, an overtrainer, right? Uh, can relate to that, you know. Uh, overtraining is, is an issue where... You can, you think? <laughs> you, think? I'm, I, you know, I'm seven weeks post-op from my 19th surgery. I just did a C4 to T2. Um, uh, yeah, I think from definitely overtraining. Um so inflammation becomes an issue. That's why I'm addressing it with sugar, but also, you know, curcumin, boswellia, um, some of the polyphenols that are known to reduce inflammation are way better for you than NSAIDs. There's a lot of positive side effects. For example, with curcumin, you know, less likely to get pancreatic cancer as well as reducing inflammation as well as uh, an NSAID. Um, we've got studies to support that. So, um, you know, just in general to protect yourself and, you know, pulling the reins, man. Um, you can still overtrain. That's a that's a mental state, if you will, that, that drives that one. Um, you know, I joke all the time. Please don't pan to my desk, but I have a big old desk. I, I asked my wife not to buy when she decorated the place for me uh, because I knew bigger desk. I'm just going to place more on it. You know what I mean? Uh, so you you, got you, it. you <laughs> might get anabol on anabolics and start repairing what damage you did and what you were doing at that level, but you go, but hey. I got a bigger desk now. I got more energy, and you <laughs> go and do funny. more at the gym, and you push, you know, push your PB. So right. it's really maybe an adjustment that needs to occur up here. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know that's not why he's asking the question. So uh, are are anabolics and growth hormone tools of regeneration? Absolutely, uh, but I'm not sure that's the solution to the the problem he's describing here. And I don't, I'm not poking fun. I said I'm the first one to yeah, say yeah. you know I overtrain and have yeah. paid for it yeah. since, but. Um, I look into the reasons, uh, again, I'm probably overthinking it with the flexor tendon stuff, uh, the flexors, uh, but that can, that can result, um, you know, hypertonicity usually occurs only in the flexors when you're talking about uh, any spinal cord damage, uh, and it can go undiagnosed. I mean, uh, again, I'm thinking of myself, but thinking of anyone who overtrains, uh, you may ignore those, uh, those deals. You may be, you know, putting too much weight on your back when you're doing squats for your size and just like I did, again, not pointing your fingers, there's three pointing back at me, mm. um, and, and you're causing damage that you don't even know. Uh, and what do guys that overtrain tend to do? That's ah, fine. 
you know, I'll worry about it tomorrow. I can still get in there and do what I need to do. It just hurts a little bit. So have an extra couple of Advil and an espresso and yeah. get through it and worry about it tomorrow. So, yeah. um, again, I wish I could give a more specific answer, but that's, that's all I can give based on the question. Thank you, Doc.